I was on my way to my storage unit and then I saw those little pretty green, yellow, arrow, post board, cardboard, construction paper signs. And I had to bust a Chicano Ether. <laughs> I got some stuff to take up in here and then stuff to take back with me. I am ready for the auction today. And then what I figured I'll do is promote myself in that one for the, for the big one, the big sponsored one. And also I need to be more active on whatnot as well because I really want to build awareness to what I have available and what I have coming with jewelry, apparel, apparel, jewelry, <laughs> glass. I don't know if I want to sell glass or whatnot. I have done pretty good on whatnot with glass, but I prefer it to be on knickknacks. They're just two different platforms that one works better with what I'm selling than the other. And for some things, they both work very well. I don't want to be choosy like picky. I'm just going to grab things because if I start looking at everything like before, I won't, it won't be gone. I won't be able to sell it because I'll be holding on to it. And that was the bad habit I had before. A shirt that I will be listing on eBay. It's one you need to look out for. This brand right here is pretty good. Polo RLX. Look out for that tag. There's a few of them that I keep an eye out for. Let me see what I have here. I've been in here approximately about an hour, hour and a half, uh, getting organized, consolidating things, bagging away things like for the next flea market sale. And then I got a pile over here that I'm making for specifically for eBay. And then I have piles that I'm working on like this box here. And over here of things that I'm gonna get to like pants, jackets. I know it's already starting to get hot this time of the year. But jackets sell year round. It's not hot everywhere. And some places just stay cold. Just like some people's attitudes. But over here in sunny Las Vegas, we stay warm year round. With good feelings and good people. Just like you all. I got quite a bundle going over here. Um, and some things I may be rocking myself. Since I'm going to be going to Hawaii at the end of the month for our 13 year anniversary. And then this over here specifically is for eBay. I'm going to get this stuff listed as soon as possible. This little guy I showed you before and goes for around 40 buckaroonies. You might be thinking, yeah, right. T.Y. Beanie Babies? Thai Beanie Babies? No, they don't. Yes, they do. This is the second plush. Uh, one out of two. The other one sold for $48 on Poshmark. Uh, I don't have Poshmark anymore, but I'm going to be back cross-listing soon. I ended up finding this in the mix as well. I thought I took it home and I couldn't find it. So happens I left it here. So this is gonna be in the auction uh, today. There's some pretty cool items in here. And I was I was thinking like, Sunny, some, what if somebody just watched my videos and they're like, how much do you want for everything? I'm like, that's a good question because people do do that. Not that I'm expecting that. But what if what you had, if somebody threw a number out there from what they seen and you allowed them to come and check out themselves, like what would be the number you would sell your haul for? And I do mean everything. No, well, I want this and I want that. I really want to get rid of everything. But I don't want to get rid of it for pennies to a dollar because although I could put in time and I will to get all this stuff listed, I will put in my time and get my space back and also get the money of what I already invested on this, which I have already. I've already made profits on all the things that I've made. And some things have not listed yet, but I know I'm gonna make profits off of that. But I've been doing very well on eBay to be getting stuff listed and averaging around $150 to $200 a day, which is pretty awesome. Yesterday was actually, yesterday was one of my slowest days, but that's okay because I had around 160 items. Now I'm down to just a little over 100. And they are the things that I'm listing and showing you that are selling pretty fast. Not all of them, but majority of them. And they're, I'm doing good, but I'm worried. What happens when I go to Hawaii where the algorithm on eBay change? So I am going to prepare like I did in the past and make drafts. I'm going to have a, a draft lot inside eBay. And throughout each day, I'm just going to be listing stuff and show that I'm away, on time away on vacation that items won't be returned until re-returned about a day afterwards. I always give myself at least one day leeway to just 
re regroup, uh, refresh, and then get those listings going. But I usually do it when I return anyways. I start packing that stuff as soon as possible. Let's go get this stuff in the truck, take it home and get it listed. I don't know what my eyes were seeing earlier, but it's 11.55. I was seeing one something. I was like, oh my goodness, I got a lot of time left. But some stuff to do as well, to pull from the truck and bring back. My hair is my hair's looking like a mane today, like a lion's mane. I don't know why I didn't think about this before, but I have some things that are pretty heavy. They're worth buying, they're worth reselling and looking out for. And I'm gonna take a picture of it now and get it up on OfferUp and Facebook Marketplace. I have not sold on there in a while. The last time I mentioned it, probably when I first started this channel, I did list like two items, crickets. But maybe this time it'll be a little different. I ended up finding this wooden polished beauty. This is a director's chair. And then you could also get custom seating made, the backing. So it is okay to be selling stuff like this. It is really good condition. It folds up very well. It is a little heavy. And I think it has a maker's mark on here somewhere. I don't remember, I've had it for a while. I got it at the Goodwill Bins. And I think they charged me $5 for it. And they go for around 100 or more. There we go. As I was folding it up, it ended up popping out right here. Telescope, there we go. Here's a sticker. I knew there was something on there. And that'll be it. Some information for me to look up and research. Here's an OGO bag that I also found at the Goodwill Bins. These go for pretty good money. They do have a little bit of size on it. And with the shipping costs and issues I'm seeing on FedEx, I'm gonna have to do a little research to see what's the best method to get this sucker shipped and or have a flat price on it uh, within the US. All right, I was trying to wonder what was in here. I couldn't remember, so I had to open it back up. Some toysies. All right, let me put that back. I am taking these inside. All right, and this one right here, also couldn't remember what was in it. These are a whole box of Uline padded mailers. So I'll leave that in there. I'll give it away to a friend. I got even more hangers from this tub here. And this tub I'll end up using and giving away when I go to the flea market. It doesn't match the other ones that I have to stack them up. And it's just going to be in a way. Inside there were all of these other hangers and two vintage pretty big hangers. Sometimes if you find the ones with the bar that run across and they look a little thinner, those could bring in some pretty good money. These right here are vintage. They're brass and they sell for around $15 to $20 each. The only thing is they have a little bit of length to them and some weight. So shipping, make sure to get that right if you come across them. All right, it's actually coming along pretty good. These are all items are gonna be coming back for later. I just don't wanna take too much stuff home. And then this over here, some of the things will be gone my next visit, like that tub that I mentioned. Um, I will come back for that OGO bag. It's just a little big size right now. And what I'm looking at is how am I gonna get the shelves in here? Where am I gonna put it? And how am I gonna get this you know, figured out? Hopefully soon, within a week or two, sooner the better. I don't think I need my heart. I'll leave it here. Yeah, I'll just leave it here. Close up this unit. It is 1214. I'm gonna be, the restaurant Carla wants food from should be open by now. So I will be picking her up some nom 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 noms. Right next to where Carla wanted food, I mean pho. This place is amazing. Nice Vietnamese place. I really wish they would start serving more of, um, uh, how do I say this? Bing Yang, Bin Nan, Bin Nan, Bin Nan. <laughs> sandwiches. Uh, they got amazing sandwiches if they serve them. Uh, but this place right here, if you could see it, this place is uh, the indoor yard sale. This place has been here for a while. Uh, it looks like they're getting better and better and stuff, but the first time they were in here, or first appeared here, it wasn't wasn't great. So I figured I'll give it a try, but they are closed unfortunately on Saturday and Sunday, but good for them. Everybody needs a break. I needed one yesterday, I got one. Today's a different day and feel amazing. All right, I got Carla's food here. We do love this place. I'm not big on fall. But it's growing on me. This is the sweet location here. They got really good seating, but it can get busy at times. 
to where you want to put your name on the list right away or call ahead and, and see if they put your name on their list. Hello. Hi, how are you? Doing good. What can I get for you? Can today? I get a large Breve ice snickerdoodle? Got it. Dutch Bros. I also have some more items for, this is a brand new Wii uh, little device here. Still brand new in box. Did have the sticker on here, Wii Speak. Um, that'd be going up for a dollar. Pair of shoes. I was trying to keep things small, but these are here. These look like Minecraft. Um, so these are kids' shoes. Let me see what size these are in case you are interested. These are, oh, they're man size five. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. Men size five little van shoes. Super Mario. And then here's some hats that I need to relist. I took them off when I was going through my eBay and clearing out some things and making sure I have the inventory and then didn't get it messed up along the way. I might be taking this with me to Hawaii to be rocking, you know, pro protect myself from the sun a little bit. If you see that, that's Kona, Kona Hawaii Surf Company. I sold one of these on whatnot that was more camouflage that looked like Mountain Dew. This one right here is a valuable one. I do have it priced up really high on my eBay store. I have had some offers for around $60, $70 but I'm really wanting a lot more of that. I know it'll still be a good profit, but some things is worth waiting for. Here's one I also need a list too. Got a Polo Ralph Lauren hat. This is brand new with tags. Now I like to hold on to this because three is my lucky and favorite number. This one is not for sale. This one was given to me. I used to rock this when my hair was a lot shorter. I do have some vineyard vine stuff, especially inside my storage unit, some apparel. And then this right here, and where's the other one? There's another hat. I've been talking a lot about starting to make my own merch and hats like these that I purchased in the past. I'm going to start working on that. I don't know if I'll have one done by today, but I'll be working on it tonight to show y'all tomorrow. When I started a clothing company back in Hawaii, I learned a lot and I wish I would have just took the time to train on these machines to do these things myself to save me a lot more money. The middleman usually scores when it comes to creating apparel, merch, and things like that because you're paying for convenience for their services. If only I had invested again in training on screen printing, uh, designs and things like that, which I was already going to school for, I would have saved me thousands of dollars and headaches and things sitting around. So I have a different tactic now of what I'm doing and hats just like this one, I have different colors of them. I am gonna be putting some of my work on it very, very soon. And tomorrow we'll see what I come up with because I can't come up with just anything. I have to come up with something that speaks to me, something that I say, that's it. And if I don't get that feeling, I don't push it out there. If I don't love it, I'm pretty sure you won't either. All right, let's go ahead and add these as well to the, oh, I almost put it in the wrong one. Over here, the dragon was keeping this a secret. <sighs> this is gonna be a silver plated Dr. Seuss little figure. This one's gonna be going on there as well. I think this is called the fish and dip. Very cool figurine. I've, I've sold quite a bit of figurines on whatnot. They do very well any time of the year. But I like to have multiple items when it comes to things like this of themes. When I went over to the storage unit, my intentions wasn't just to be putting up things. I got some t-shirts, a bundle of them that I'm gonna start preparing for my next whatnot auction sale. You may be feeling like, man, Sonny, you're pushing whatnot a lot. Well, it's one of the three platforms that I use and I use select items per platform like knickknacks, eBay and whatnot as I've been talking about a lot. And I do very good on them. I used to have a really good following for apparel and I started getting into jewelry. From what I've learned of sticking to one thing for a while is that you end up losing the people that go towards the things that you're selling. So I wanna start mixing it up and start selling more things on there and being more uh, better at marketing what I'm gonna do and keeping people informed rather than keeping it up in my head. So that way people are aware and maybe plan the dates the dates and times that I'm going to start listing stuff and have it available. So that's all part of just my learning process of what I've experienced that I wasn't doing before. And because I've been talking a lot about how much I want to sell and how much stuff I have and how much stuff is just sitting around, it won't move if I don't move. And I am making moves right now and ramping things up to get as much things as possible sold, save a lot more money, especially for a vacation coming up at the end of the month for a 13 year anniversary. So I have a work, I have quite a bit of work ahead of me and I'm really excited about all of it. I don't feel like, oh my gosh, I gotta do this and this way. 
I see the good that I'm doing and how things are coming along a lot faster. And I only wish I did this a lot sooner, but you don't know until you know. And that ephemera box that I showed you before, I don't know how this got in there, but I found it and it's a box or an album of Pokemon cards. I am not gonna go through these. I don't know what the value of them are, but I don't know much about uh, Pokemon like that. Um, I bought some from friends to support them and what they're doing in reselling. But other than that, I've never really <laughs> kept them like, oh, these are worth a ton. I think if they were, they would have pointed them out, but who knows? Um, maybe they didn't care just like I don't either. So so this is part of that dollar sale as well. This, this bag is starting to fill up with goodies. This one won't even fit in there and I'll have these listed um, two days sometime. Crossing my fingers, I did, I'm gonna do good on the auction for today. I have, I believe, 64 pieces of gold tone vintage costume jewelry which are all earrings oh oh and i gotta add this one i gotta i gotta add this one in there uh this piece so i'll be adding this in there as well nice little brooch is also a pendant has a little hook on there let me show you what i got from imi fa my go-to meal is going to be their shaking beef carla usually gets the roast duck soup that's some kind of soup there um but this time she ended up getting the rare steak Pho. Again, I'm not big on pho, but it is pretty good. I'm starting to like it. Uh, but this is something that I love getting from there, the shaking beef. It's so good. Chip waits for me to drop food. He's like, just drop it here and I'll eat it. Don't worry about it. Nobody sees me. I'm incognito. <laughs> so here is my shaking beef. I love it. I'm not big on onions, but the flavor of this, I love eating the onions. Sometimes I just eat the onions first and then the shaking beef and it is very well made very tender very soft and then their tomato slices i often sprinkle a little salt on that and then the rice i often mix the rice in the soup that's down on the bottom i do recommend i recommend this place folks it is so good it is deliciosus mm, just perfect Perfect, nice, nice little wet sauce on there. Mm. If you ever get the chance to visit Las Vegas, try out Ami, Ami Fa. It's a really good place, even for takeout. Mm. But it's always good to eat it fresh. Really nice, comfortable place, not hot at all. Their AC is usually on point, but their food, I hope y'all had a wonderful weekend. We still got the rest of the day, so make the most of it, have fun. And for those who asked me to add some micro machines in the 19th for the dollar sale, you got it done. It's done, consider it done. It's already done, did. <laughs>